welcome to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick review on Grace Beverly's BND Resistance Band Collection. And then I'm going to show you guys the best 10 exercises for your lower body that you can do at home with resistance bands. So the reason why I wanted to buy these not is not only just because I love Grace Beverly, but also... Um, I noticed like in the past like when I would use resistance bands like you know those plastic flimsy ones I would like I would notice like when I would use resistance bands those resistance bands compared to like when I wouldn't use them there wasn't a great effect on my workout like I wouldn't really notice that much of a difference and oftentimes they would like slip on my thigh or something and it was just like annoying I didn't really see the point of them until I bought these these are so effective so this is the heavy band and this is the medium band and I would 10 out of 10 recommend investing in like good quality resistance bands because they make such a difference on your workout like i didn't understand the hype or like the point of resistance bands until i bought these and i was like okay i get it like i understand why people are so adamant about using resistance bands because it improves your workout so much more and like you feel it the next day compared to like when you use those plastic flimsy ones that you can borrow at the gym like it's just not the same i would 10 out of 10 recommend her bands because they're really really good quality and like they don't slip on me like they've never won like slipped on my thigh compared to other bands and like when you do when you use these bands you notice such a difference compared to when you don't use them and it's like to the point where like before like when I would have my other bands like if I was going to the gym and I forgot it at home I would be like hey whatever like it doesn't even affect like it doesn't even improve my workout that much but with these bands like if I forget these at home I will like turn around and go get them because it makes that much of a difference on my workout and I think they're just so effective so I would 10 out of 10 recommend her bands if you're interested or just in general investing in, in good quality resistance bands and now i'm going to show you guys the 10 best exercises that you can do with um, resistance bands at home so usually when i'm doing a glute workout at home i like to start with the lateral banded sidewalks so you place your resistance band above your knee and then you take two steps to the left and two steps to the right and you want to make sure that you're in a demi squat position so you're not all the way down in a full squat, but you're also not like standing straight. And I really like the resistance band, particularly for this workout, because like when you're doing it without bands, you don't really feel that burn, but then you add the bands and you feel like you feel your muscles being engaged. So usually when I do this in a home workout, I'll do it for one minute straight, just going side to side. Or if I want to make it into a set workout, I'll do like 20 each side. And then I take a break and I do that for a total of three sets. And this is just another angle of me doing the lateral banded sidewalks. Um, so as you can see, I'm in a demi squat, so I'm not all the way down, but I'm also not standing straight. Next are the banded pulsing squats. Again, you have the band right above your knee and you can see my knees are a little bit farther than my shoulder width. So when doing pulsing squats, you don't go fully up. You pretty much just move one foot up and down rather than coming all the way up. And usually when I do this in a workout, I'll do it for 45 seconds to one minute or I make it into a set by doing 30 quick pulses and then I take a rest and then I do that over and over again to make a set. And banded pulsing squats also target your glute muscles directly. So next are the donkey side kicks and I love this exercise because it's one of those workouts that when you're doing it you can feel that it's working the muscle. So basically, um, I'm using a heavy resistance band for this, and the resistance band is again above my knee. And basically, you're swinging your knee to the side, and then bringing it back, and then you swing it to the side, and then you bring it back. And this is such an effective workout, like I think the donkey kicks are definitely one of my favorites. When I incorporate donkey side kicks into a workout, usually I'll do 30 side kicks on each side for a total of three sets, or I'll do it for a minute straight on one side, and then I go to the other side and I do it for a minute straight. So these are the donkey kickbacks, 
And this exercise is what specifically made me like Grace's band so much because when I would use other bands, they would always like slip on my thigh and it would just be really annoying because you'd be doing a workout and then they'd slip off and you'd have to like reset. But then Grace's band, because they're really thick, they just stay there and they don't slip. And they're also really strong. So as you can see, while I'm doing the kickbacks, I hold my leg at the top in that position for a couple of seconds. And while I'm doing that, I'm just engaging my glute muscles. And this is way more effective than just going up and down, up and down, not really engaging that muscle fully. And when I do this in a workout, usually I'll do it for either maybe like 30 seconds straight on one side and then I switch to the other side or maybe I'll do like 20 on one side and then I switch to the other side for a set of three. <laughs> So next are the banded glute kickbacks. So when I do these, I put my band above my knee, but I've also seen people put the band above their ankle, but I prefer to put it above my knee because I feel like it targets your glute muscles more directly versus when you put it above your ankle, it targets other muscles in your leg. So I usually do 10 kickbacks on each leg for a total of three sets. And to make this workout a little bit more challenging, when you when you swing your leg back, you can hold your leg in that position for like three seconds rather than coming immediately back to the wall. So these are the standing hip abductors. And for this exercise, I put the resistance band above my knee, but to make it a lot more challenging, you can put it at your ankle. And you're pretty much just abducting your leg away from the wall and then bringing it back slowly. And if you're using a wall to support yourself, you want to try your best to not lean too much into the wall because you want your leg to be the one doing the exercise. So for the banded hip thrust, I would recommend putting your chair on a mat or something so that your chair doesn't slip as you're doing it. So for the hip thrust, I have my feet shoulder width apart and my toes are pointed up because it targets your glute muscles more that way. And my resistance band is above my knee. And the only part of your back that should be touching the chair is the top part of your shoulder blade. So as you can see, when I come up to the top, I hold my position for around 3 seconds and while I'm in this position, I squeeze my glute muscles and this is way more effective than just, coming, than just going up and down, up and down because when you come up and you hold and squeeze your glute muscles for 3 seconds, it engages it way more than if you were just going up and down. And as you're doing this, remember to keep your toes up and your chin pointed down. And if I were to do this in a set, I would do like three sets of 10. So these are the seated hip abductors and you're basically just abducting your knees away from each other slowly and then coming back together. And I have my resistance band above my knees and my feet are shoulder width apart. So it can be really easy to do this exercise super fast, but if you do it slowly, that's what's going to um, engage your quadricep and your glute muscles way more than if you were just to do it super fast back and forth. And when I do this in a workout, I'll usually just do like 30 of these. So these are just hip thrusts on the ground. So again, you have the resistance band above your knee 
And your shoulder blades should be the only part of your back that are touching the ground when you come up. And when I come to the top, I'm squeezing my glutes for three seconds and then I'm coming back down rather than coming back down immediately. And since I don't have any weight or I'm not really doing anything to make this exercise any more challenging, I usually do about 30 sets. So these are banded side leg raises and I have my resistance band at my knee or like above my knee but the further down your leg you go um, the harder and more challenging this exercise is. So basically you're on your side with your legs parallel to one another and you're, you're raising the leg on the top and then slowly bringing it down. So this targets your quad muscles and your glute muscles a little bit and usually when I do this I will either do this exercise for one minute on each leg or I will do a set so maybe like 30 adductors on each side and then rest and do that again and then rest. So these are 10 simple exercises that you can do at home with resistance bands to target your glute muscles and again I highly recommend investing in a good quality pair of resistance bands because they just make your workout so much more effective. Anyways, thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe because I plan to be making a lot more informative workout videos.